Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how to compare multiple photos in Browse to help you find the best one. I'm going to start off here in Grid View and I'm going to look for a series of similar photos where I need to really take a closer look to pick out the best ones. Here's a good example I'm going to grab from here down to here. This gives me five photos that are all pretty much the same composition and I want to take a closer look at them. So I just click right here on Compare Mode. You can also hit the C key on your keyboard to automatically go into compare mode when you're in browse. You notice when I do that, just the selected photos appear up here in the upper preview area. And you can see the selection down here in the film strip at the bottom. You can add to or subtract from your selection in the film strip just by using the mouse or your keyboard shortcuts to add or remove from the selection. You can also use the slash key to remove one as well. That's a quick way to get rid of one you don't like. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Typically, I want to zoom in and take a closer look. So when I click on a photo, it'll automatically zoom in all of the photos to the same position. I can then click and drag to pan all of the photos together. If I need to individually zoom or reposition one photo, I can just hold down my Shift key and I can reposition each photo independently if I need to, if my subject matter happens to drift in the frame a bit. This makes it a lot easier for me to get to the same spot on all the photos. If there's a photo that I don't like and I want to get rid of it, I can just click on it and then press the slash key on my keyboard and it'll remove it from my selection. Whenever the selection changes, it'll readjust the number of cells in the preview area to take the best advantage of your screen size. Let's get rid of another one. Let's say I don't like this photo right here. I'll just go ahead and hit the slash key to get rid of that. I can also change the metadata on photos while I'm in here as well. Whichever one is the one with the blue box around it, the most selected one, we'll get any metadata changes. So let's say I want to take the middle photo and I want to mark it as a five star. I can just hit five on my keyboard to make it a five star, or I could change it five star right here or on its thumbnail cell. All of those places will work. I could also arrow between the photos and easily just use those keyboard shortcuts to change this one too. Let's say I like this one. I'm going to make it a five star. I just again hit that five on my keyboard. There you go. There's how you can compare multiple similar photos Zoom in to identify which one is the sharpest or which one has the best expression, get rid of the ones you don't like, and flag or rate your favorites. All right, thanks for watching.